Hey guys, and welcome to Petroped. And welcome to my COVID-19 daily vlog, uploading a new video every day at 6 p.m. to keep you sane during lockdown. What a beautiful day we have here today in the UK. A perfect day to wash your car. And I'm sure, like me, most of you have been spending quite a bit of time washing your car recently. The big question is, what do I wash my car with? Now, any medium to long term follower of my channel is probably now rolling on the floor laughing at the mere mention of me washing a car. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, I got a bit of a history. So a couple of years ago now, I was having some cosmetic work done to the S4 um, and I foolishly washed a car on YouTube using a sponge and a single bucket. The amount of hate I got in the comments was just unbelievable. So I roped in a mate of mine who's a car detailer, Ryan from RPM Valeting and Detailing, to come along and teach me the two bucket method and we kind of had a bit of a chat about detailing cars and since then I've also done a video around ceramic coating the Mini. So I am getting much much better but it, it's to the point where quite a few of you will even comment hashtag no sponge on any car related video that I've got. But through Ryan, I've recently been in touch with a guy called Neil, who is one of the guys who runs a uh, automotive detailing product company called Revive. Now, Revive have been around for a couple of years, but they're in the process of a, of a bit of a kind of refocusing and they're evaluating their products and they're looking at um, potentially adding new stuff to the range. And, and Neil said, look, would you like me to send you some products? Because clearly you're in lockdown and you've got nothing better to do, but and this is the this is the killer. He said, I think you're really gonna like the the positioning and the packaging and the style that we're going for. So why don't I send you a box of stuff? And I was like, that would be lovely. So let me go and get the box and we'll unpack it together. <laughs> now then, I've never actually done an unboxing video before online, but this box arrived and I've got to say just the it just intrigued me. So uh, I actually don't know what's in it. I quickly had a, a quick open up just to, to have a look, but I've not actually looked at any of this. Now, one of the things I want to add, by the way, is um, clearly I'm kind of looking at some products. I don't want to try and throw this in front of you as a kind of over buy this product, but honestly and truly, especially having watched a lot of the Peddler's Ride submissions, many of you have really nice cars. And, and I wanted to talk about the positioning of this particular range of car cleaning products because I think it will sit very nicely with you and then the ability to offer you a 25% discount I thought you'd appreciate that so let, let's start by the the thing I love most is when you look at the branding uh, clearly I am a massive Goodwood fan and the branding for me is very kind of revival-esque and and when you look at the website I mean their strap line is revive the auto apothecary and all of the products are in bottles with labeling that kind of harks back to the old days of the apothecary store where you'd go and you'd have jars of different chemicals and different colors and so on and I really like that I am a you know I, I've I know I've done my chat recently about my um, my background and history, but I've done some marketing and I really love good marketing and good product placement and good packaging design. One of the things I love about Apple the most is just even things down to the box and the packaging is beautiful. So let's start to have a look at what's in, in this box. So first of all, we have a merino wool washing square. No sponges in this box. That that's so beautiful. I'm not so sure I even want to wash a car with it. It's too nice. Wow, oh, it's lovely. So where does this uh, pack, what's the target market if you like? Well, these products are aimed at the kind of classic car high-end market. They are designed with chemicals that are, if you like, kinder to the materials that you'd find on older cars. So two pack paint, thinner paintwork, um, and they're, they're not so abrasive and so on. Um, so. But that doesn't mean to say you can't use them on modern cars as well. We've got some microfiber cloths and towels. And oh, look at this, a whopping great big, uh, lovely luxury drying towel. Oh, look at that. No chamois leather in this box. Awesome. But it's the boxes I'm really looking forward to opening. Let's have a, what we got here. Now, 
first things first, all the boxes um, have got numbers uh, and basically the numbers help you work out and this is probably aimed at the home car washer stroke detailer. In the comments please, when does washing a car become detailing? Always wanted to know that. But the, the, you start with a lower number and work your way up and that's if you like the um, chronology, the, the order in which you do stuff. So this is the, the cleaning, luxury cleaning shampoo. Um, I want to, I'm just really interested to look at the bottle because the bottle labelling, but look at this, the I know the, you don't buy a product always for the packaging, but this packaging is really lovely. Got a little um, instruction manual that tells you about the product and directions for use. And then here we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> How cool is that? Beautiful labels. I That, that for me, as a, someone who really loves branding, that that's very, very cool indeed. So let's see what is in here. Because in a moment, I'm going to be really brave, take a brave pill, and I might even go and wash Ruby Roadster because she needs a bit of a clean. So we've got that. What's next? Uh, finish and protect, number four. Very nice. Ooh. Satin tyre dressing. Quick detailer. Interior detailer, have we got this? These are all probably, what's the color of this one? It looks like an old medicine bottle. How lovely are these? So yeah, so I, the, I guess the if you've got your pride and joy tucked away in your garage and you just bring it out of the weekend, and what else have we got in here apart from lots of polystyrene? What are these? Ah! little uh, triggers to turn them into a spray. So yeah, if you've got your little pride and joy tucked away in your garage and you kind of wanted to give it some love and spend some real precious time with it, that's kind of where these products are aimed at. You know, rather than going out like me, I'll put my hand up here, I'm, I'm rubbish really. I normally buy things like turtle wax and <laughs> wax and shine and stuff like that. Um, I'm never quite as bad as taking it to the car wash, but you know, some of the chemicals that the these hand car wash places use are really abrasive apparently. Whereas these are far more gentle on the car. They're still effective and they still can be used for modern cars as well. So if you're watching this and you don't have a modern car, it doesn't mean you can't use these products. So, um, so yeah, there you go. So if you were interested, I'll put the link to Revive below, but guess what the website just google revive and you'll find it um but you we've got a discount code petrolped25 so if you type petrolped25 um, when you go to the checkout area on the website you get a 25 percent discount off of any products you buy and that's kind of one of the reasons i wanted to share this with you really one for me it's great I've, I'm, I'm always after new things to keep my prides and joy looking beautiful um, but also i know many of you are spending the um, idle hours in this beautiful weather cleaning and polishing your car um, so i thought you might want to take up the uh, 25 percent discount because i thought that was very generous of neil and and the team at revive so the next thing i'm going to take a brave pill ruby roadster needs a bit of a clean because i'm filming another video with her tomorrow and i want her looking her best so i reckon we go and give this just the shampoo and maybe me new drying towel and me merino wool cloth let's go and give that uh, a rundown um, and see what it's like <laughs> can't believe i'm going to wash a car on youtube again i mean what what can go wrong? It can't can't possibly go wrong, can it? You can't have a go at me again, surely. Da, 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 da. Now then. The two most vicious types of comments you are likely to get on YouTube as a car YouTuber, the first lot are what I call the Tesla Arty. Basically, say anything negative about Tesla and Elon Musk's fanboys basically destroy you in the comments. The next most vicious are basically car detailers or people who like to detail cars or people who think they know how best to detail cars and want to tell you all the mistakes you've made. So I am opening myself up for a bit of criticism here. However, a couple of things. Yes, I have a grit guard in one bucket and notice two buckets. 
Two buckets, people. So I'm using the two bucket method. Now then, before I go and get the shampoo, let me just talk to you a little bit more about the three guys behind Revive. We've mentioned Neil already. So Neil's background is in sales, but he is a car detailer. So he kind of comes at it with the detailing expertise. Mark, well, Mark is a classic car dealer. So knows a huge amount about classic cars and the requirements for keeping them up to scratch and what you need to make them look lovely. And then finally, we have Andy. Andy's the chemist. Now the thing I love about Revive is they are a UK company. Everything is done in-house. They're based in the Cotswolds, so they kind of formulate everything in-house. Everything's made in the UK, and therefore we are supporting a UK business, which at this time of uh, the world's problems is a very, very important thing. So I am now gonna go and be brave. I'm gonna go and get the, uh, the shampoo. Can't believe I'm doing this. So there's hugely uh, comprehensive instructions in here. The dilution ratio, by the way, they reckon in here anyway, um, you can put uh, 650 parts of water to one part of this shampoo. So you don't have to use a huge amount. In fact, it's still, um, it still works at anything up to 2000 to one. So you don't need lots and lots of this stuff. Um, so I'm gonna just put a little bit in the water because actually Ruby's not that dirty. She's not really been used very much. I washed her only about a week ago and it's mainly just a bit of dust, but I wanted to look nice for tomorrow. And then I must say, this Merino wolf, this really deserves to be the kind of floor mats in a Rolls Royce. So I feel really guilty washing my car with it because it is so beautiful. Um, so I'm gonna mix this up and then the first thing I'm gonna do is just give her a quick blast around with the jet wash. Uh, no snow foam today, sorry people. Um, I'm not gonna be doing snow foaming. Um, I'm sure many of you go, mm, snow foam first. No, we're just doing a very simple uh, shampoo. Don't forget, Ruby's also uh, had a ceramic coating. Well, that was quite a while ago now, and it wasn't one of those ceramic coats that lasts a very, very, very long time. So uh, she's still got the benefit of it, but I don't need to give her too much of a wash today. So let's put some of this uh, shampoo in, shall we? And then get jet washing. Oh, oh that smells lovely. Gentlemen, choose your weapon. To be honest, she actually isn't that, that dirty. There's a bit of a kind of layer of dust like most of our cars at the moment few little bits of bird poop and some brake dust because we've probably driven to the shops and back maybe three or four times, something like that. But um, yeah, so not too bad. So now I really don't want to get this lovely merino wool mitt dirty, but oh well, let's give it a go. Now then, detailer arty. Two buckets in top to bottom, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just, here we go, comments inbound. Wow. Lovely. Got that hashtag no sponge. Now I'm clearly not gonna do the whole car on camera because that's just opening myself up to hate. Get that wash off. Got it. I reckon I know the difference between a detailer and someone who just washes the car. I just wash my car, okay? So any of you wanna give me tips on how to do it better, don't bother. This is not a video on how to detail a car. I'm just using some really nice products to get my car nice and clean, okay? Um, and actually, it, it has a lovely smell to it. Whether or not I've got the mix right, it's the first time I've used it. I'm sure I could probably put a bit more in, but again, 
that's, you know, uh, not what the intention of this is. Bit of fun, people, bit of fun. I'm sure I'm gonna get annihilated anyway, but look, two buckets, two buckets. So the only thing I need to do with the wheels, but the wheels actually aren't too bad at all. And they've got a ceramic coating on them as well. So they literally just a jet wash off and a very, very light um, clean with those and they come up beautifully. Um, and I just need to kind of give it a bit of a towel. Um, normally, by the way, don't wash my car inside the barn. It's normally done outside, but it's so hot today with a black car, you know, you, it just, it, the water evaporates and you get those horrible marks on it so, so quickly. So yeah, I'll just give it a towel off and I reckon that's, that's pretty much done to be fair. Okay, time to get this lovely luxury drying towel dirty. Oh man, that feels so nice. <laughs> it's not good enough to dry humans, let alone cars. So hopefully... Okay, one thing I've noticed this is a significantly better quality drying towel than I normally have. And it dries the car much better. <laughs> no surprise there, really. Yeah, she's looking beautiful. Hey, I've thought of another comment that's gonna just set the hate comments alive. I'm wearing my watch, people. Look, look, and I've got my wedding ring on. Yeah, yeah, I'm washing a car with a watch. How awful would that be? Who'd ever do that? This is a complete nutcase, too. Now, I'm not just saying this, but that is as good a non-swirl finish as I've had on this car for ages, washing it myself anyway. Pleased with that. I do like washing my car. It's very therapeutic. Can you find? <sighs> so, I think Best to take her out into the sunshine and finish this video. Well, I must say now I brought Ruby Roadster out into the beautiful afternoon sunlight. She's looking beautiful and very streak free, which is a difficult look to achieve with a black car, believe me. I think it has much to do with this drying towel, to be honest, it's much better than the rubbish thing I was using. Look guys, this wasn't intended to be a detailing video, but um, I have to say a big thank you to Neil and the guys at Revive for sending me these products to try out and then giving you a, an opportunity to benefit from a 25% discount because I know they're really keen to get people to be using their products and get their feedback. They want to know what's good about them, they want to know what they could improve on, they want to know what other products you might be interested in. You know, the new team that are looking after Revive, they're, they're really trying to take the brand somewhere and, and I really like that, uh, especially in such difficult times. So supporting a British company for me, I feel really important. And one that resonates with me from a branding point of view and, and also one I think will resonate with many of you guys. So that's why I was really keen to do this video. Um, but I, you know, I, I'll put their details below. The uh, discount code is PETROLPED25. That will give you a 25% discount off anything you buy from their store. Um, so yeah, check them out and you know, let me know if you buy any of their gear and let me know what you think about it and make sure you let them know too. Uh, but anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, if you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you on the next film guys, but you take care. Stay safe.